Here we go. Senators, the fuck is this America? Members of the Red Chamber have been hit by a wave of questionable correspondence from Canadians. Oh, really? So that's how the government responds. So a shit ton of Canadians are bothering you, which you've never had before. And now your very first thing to say is, uh, it's questionable. Questionable correspondence. Concerned Canadians contacting their government for answers? That's questionable correspondence. Sorry. Questionable. WEF? Yeah. Trudeau clearly involved. Fucking... Finance minister clearly involved. Tens of thousands of calls, emails, and handwritten letters urging senators to oppose Bill S-2233 have flooded into the Red Chamber. The emails, many of them based on outlandish conspiracy theories, have, times, have at times overloaded the Senate's servers, bringing the normal workflow to a grind halt. Oh, so convenient for them. Oh, people asking questions prevents them from working? Oh, yeah. Sure, a lot of stuff does. They, they should get another raise. Ugh. Creation of a national framework to allow federal governments to begin studying and a guaranteed livable basic income program. Yeah, there it is. If passed, the one-page bill, which was introduced by Ontario Senator Kim Pate, would not establish a basic income program in Canada. It would simply compel the Department of Finance to study the concept and report its findings. Yeah, which would then lead to establishing a program if they decide that it's good. And that's the same, That's you will own nothing and be happy. Right now, that's how welfare works. You cannot, you can't get more, you can't save any of the money that you're getting from welfare, and you can't, technically, you can't own a home, you can't own assets, because technically, you're getting government money, so how the fuck did you get money to own a house if you're on welfare, right? So that's kind of how that plays out right now with welfare, with universal basic income, I don't think it's going to be any different. How are you going to own a house? How are you going to increase your income? How are you going to, you're stuck at one level, that's it, for the rest of your life, sucking on the government teat. But anyway, they're saying that this isn't going to happen, though. This is just to... They're just doing a study. They're just taking government resources, government time, which apparently they don't have because they're getting flooded with these questionable questions, and they're using that to study universal basic income, which they won't implement. Right. Right. That sounds like a good use of our in, our resources. If passed, the one-page bill, which intro was introduced by Ontario Senator Kim Pate, would not establish basic income, but it would simply compel... Right. Like... <laughs> So we're not establishing a basic income. We're just really doing a, a millions of dollars worth of research into it. It's, and then we're just going to throw it out. Under parliamentary rules, a senator cannot propose any new spending or tax increases to the Senate bill like S-2233 until Trudeau introduces more bullshit bills that allow that. Moreover, bills of this sort, a non-government legislation more generally, rarely pass through both houses of parliament into law, the federal liberal government. Despite those facts, senators are grappling with a well-organized... To fight the, the, the facts that what... The facts that there's no fact. The only facts that you stated was that we're pro we're not going to pass it, uh, but we're doing research into it. We're spending government money to do research into it, and that it's in that it can be voted against. the The bill can be voted against if they pass. We're to pass anything crazy in the law, but right now they're just trying to pass a research bill into it, and like now they're they're double speaking the whole narrative of the people that are concerned and saying well they're all conspiracy theorists and it's outlandish we're not going to answer the questions or you know put you at ease or explain what we're researching here how we're researching it or why we're researching it or the organizations involved in the research we're just saying oh we're researching it and nothing's going to come of it so it's okay don't worry about it we're researching basic income don't worry we're not going to implement it we're just putting our resources and time into it right now it's it's just it's not a bill that's going to implement human and and the bill itself may not pass to to do research in a universal basic income like fuck off oh let's keep going despite those facts senators are grappling with a well organized letter writing campaign driven by people who worry that the bill's passage will somehow result in real harms like the, an end to old age security and to employment insurance or the contributory Canada Pension Plan. Some of the thousands of letter writers also falsely claim, if passed, the bill would limit future social welfare program programs to people vaccinated against COVID-19, or that cigarette smokers will be barred from government assistance. The bill would not make 
well, they'd get paid less, I bet, bet you anything, if they implemented some type of universal basic income. The bill would not make any changes to existing government programs. It does not stipulate who would qualify if the government were to implement a basic income scheme. What are they? They just said they're not implementing basic income. They're not implementing basic income. The bill probably won't pass, but the bill would not make any changes to existing government programs and does not stipulate... Who would qualify if the government were to implement basic income scheme? A basic income scheme. Some of the concern about pensions and income support seems to stem from a tweet by Peter Terrace, a former Ontario candidate for the People's Party of Canada. He told his followers that if Bill S23 passes, if you are not vaccinated, you would not receive EI, CPP, OHS, social services, or pension that you paid into. Fantastical and untrue. Really? Because they did already tap into Canadians bank accounts are donating to fucking to a trucking protest i would be surprised if they pass universal basic income and go well you need to be vaccinated to qualify sorry or else you're you're putting canadians at risk that message has been retweeted for more than 700 times 700 is nothing pay told cbc this has been with the wef the great reset has been a conspiracy for a long time it has nothing to do with this fucking guy tweeting that the tweet is absolutely fantastical and untrue the people like Ter- Taras are spreading misinformation that unnecessarily terrifies people by telling them their access to financial support and services upon which they rely would be terminated. Dude, everybody's scared because the government is non-transparent about their spending. They're 100% non-transparent about their spending. They will not tell you where the money is going, who's involved in the money, who's touching the money. They won't tell you. They'll tell you, we're taking care of you. It's all going into programs that are taking care of you. And don't worry about it. And just look at the surface level. Skim over it. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, don't look at anything else. Don't look at the bills that come up behind that. Don't look at any of the fine print because don't worry about that. You're being taken care of. We're Just give us all the money. Allow us to to potentially withdraw more money than what we need for the programs we're... we're, we're uh, suggesting, and then don't worry about it. Don't ask us where the money's going, who's getting the money, what, who's running the programs. Just know that you're getting taken care of. That's exactly what I would tell somebody if I was robbing them blind and they were stupid enough to give me access to all their money. Oh, you're taken care of. Don't worry, man. Hey, uh, I gave you $2 million uh, last year. What, what happened to it? Pfft, don't worry, man. It's going. I got it invested. It's all invested. You're all, you got all your health care, all your, your house, your house is paid off, your dental, your, everything's paid off. Don't worry about it. Go to your dentist, just rack up all those bills. You're taken care of. Oh, hey, where's all my money? Oh, oh yeah, that money I invested last year? Oh yeah, it's gone. Well, I'm going to sue you now. Well, good luck. I have a shit ton of money now and you don't. So have fun going up against my lawyers, <laughs> right? Right? I can afford an army. How, what can you afford now? You have no money. So good luck. Come at, come at me, bro. Oh, we got reduced services, benefits meant to assist individuals with needs relating to their health, disability, retirement, just people that work for a living, yeah. The bill proposes developing a framework for implementing guaranteed livable basic income. That's a universal basic income. That's the same thing. An income support credit program available to anyone living in poverty in Canada. In my humble opinion, it could form one component of a robust, responsive, and comprehensive economic health and social safety net that includes housing, child care, education, pharma, dental, mental health care, as well as programs like pension. That all costs money. You only, or your own, this is only going to be accessible to impoverished people and people with no jobs. What are you doing for the people that are working for a living? What, what do we get? Are you, you're encouraging people to stop working and go on this basic income shit. It's, it's, it's only for people that are in, in poverty. We have something. I thought welfare exists. Welfare isn't good enough. Basic livable income. Guaranteed livable basic income. What's the difference between a guaranteed basic livable income, universal basic income, and welfare? It all sounds like the same shit. And this is why we've made no progress since 2013. 2013, I thought we beat racism. Then it all came back. Now we're worried about fucking racism and tra- and fucking bigotry and da 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 da. And meanwhile, the government's fucking shredding the government and society in the background. And these people worry about their fucking cocks and vaginas, their pussies. You know what I mean? Society's fucking stupid, and we need to get the people out of office that are in there right now. Just do a whole shuffle. That's all you got to do. Just shuffle them out. Just. Sh- Replace them with other people, legally, lawfully replace everybody that's running governments right now with someone else. Doesn't matter who it is, as long as they're not involved, the WEF, 
you're good to go. But this is absolutely insane. Craziness. The government's telling, these people are putting out articles and they're telling us government representatives think that everybody's crazy. We're getting flooded with messages from Canadians concerned. And we're just going to say that you're crazy. You know what I mean? We're not going to validate the Canadians asking questions. We're just going to say crazy conspiracy theory. You think that it's universal basic income and we're going to rob everyone of their of their welfare and of their current benefits. You're not. You're just going to make those who work and those who provide labor, you're going to make all their efforts less valuable. You're going to debase the value of the the average worker because the average impoverished person who doesn't work now has money now has income so now everything has to be more expensive and i'm i don't see anywhere in the fucking basic livable income shit or any of that give money away to poor people clause that oh hey we're gonna offset the fact that now everybody's going to have money, so all the prices are going to go up. We're going to offset that as well for the workers. And we're going to make sure that workers get higher wages to compensate for the fact that the impoverished uh, population now has money and now is going to drive up the cost of everything else. So now we have to compensate the workers because we're helping the people who are poor. Now we need to, we, now we need to help the people that were poor and are coming out of poverty, right? Nobody wants to nobody wants to depend on universal basic income and welfare because like I said, you cannot technically save money on these programs. You cannot make more than what they're giving you because then they have no reason to give you money, right? So, if it's only helping the po the poor poor people, you know, they're not explaining how they're bringing people out of poverty. They're just saying, "Oh, we're giving more poor poor people free shit. Free shit. Free shit." You don't need, we're not going to educate people on how to get jobs and become functioning members of society and contribute to society and make money while doing that. No, 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 no. Here's money. Fucking sit in your basement, shit out a bunch of kids, free dental, free healthcare. Don't get a job. We got your back. That's really nice. But what about the fucking working class? What about the people that keep the country running? How, what goes on then?